Hi everyone, welcome back to the fifth and final tutorial for your North Rockland Central School District English Department Digital Portfolio. Um, today we're going to go through how to embed something from an external site if you did a project on another site and going about how to share it with your teacher and how to actually publish this. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your folder, you're going to go to your portfolio, and you will see that it is exactly how we left off yesterday with our pictures, our beautiful front page, and then our second page of English 10. Now, again, just as a reminder that you may not even have anything on this page yet until the end of the first quarter. Um, so you can always refer back to this when you can. So let's say you did a um, a presentation on another site, or you did a project on another site. So I did this in Padlet. So what I want to do is just make sure I copy the URL. I go back to my portfolio. Now I need a way to embed this link in here. So all I'm going to do is click embed, paste the embed in, and you'll see that it's here. And I click insert. So now you can see it's really, really big and maybe too big. So I'm going to reshape that a little bit just to make it more uniform with everything. Okay. So now what I want to do is insert a text box. And you'll see that it gets moved above. So if I take the arrows and drag it right next to the, the embed right here, I now have a text box here. Now I can do my heading just like this, the title, um, Padlet Assignment. And then I can go into my normal text and do my reflection piece. Or I can spell reflection right, right? Okay, and go from there and type all the way down. So that's just another way to get a piece into your digital portfolio. So now let's say after the first little bit, um, or even after we create our About Me page, your teacher is going to want you to share this with them. Okay. So what they're going to do is they're going to share a form with you, which unfortunately I have to pull up right now. And I should have had that done beforehand, but that's okay. I have it right here because my folders are organized. Okay. And they're going to give you this form where you'll enter your name, your last name, your first name, the grade you're in. You'll select the teacher you have. Okay. Period. You have English. And then you're going to give a link to the portfolio. Well, where do you get that? So what you're going to do is you are going to click the publish button. The publish button will now have your web web address. Okay. We are going to look at the sharing settings right now. So how did I do that? So I click manage and I'm going to click change and I'm going to say publish site can be restricted North Rockland Central School District or public. We are at the moment going to um, make it restricted. So only people added can be at this link. Now that's not going to help us see everything, right? That's not going to do it. So you're going to click on that and we're going to set it at North Rockland Central School District can find and open it just as a viewer. We're going to click done. Okay. We're going to click publish. And now your site is live at that address. But how are you going to do that? Give that link to your teacher. You're going to click publishing options. You're going to click view publish site. Now you're going to see the portfolio looking like a website. You're going to copy and you're going to paste your URL right into here. You'll click submit on the form and now your digital portfolio is not only published, but it is now shared with your teacher. Okay. Um, we've restricted the access to North Rockland for now. We'll talk about making it public another time, but for now we just want your teachers to be able to see it and view it and for you to be able to showcase it during certain times. Okay. Um, whenever you want to edit or add stuff, you simply go back to Google Drive where you have it, open it up, and it'll be right like this. 
be able to be edited and things to be added. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your teacher. I will also be available for help as well. Um, I appreciate your patience with this, and this is something that will now live with you for the rest of your time here at North Rockland, um, and you will see growth in your work, and it will help your teachers as well as you establish a positive digital presence. Thank you, and um, happy constructing your digital portfolio.